Hello there, this is Andres Vasquez. Um, you may remember how we worked our virtual tours during the pandemic. Well, right now we're starting with virtual trip reports. It's a new um, type of work in our trip reports that we are starting today with this tour that it took place in Costa Rica early in March. I guided this custom burden with a camera. First off, this is Costa Rica, putting you in the map in the central area of Central America. And uh, this is the entire country, as you can see, more or less goes through here, the border with uh, Nicaragua and Panama in this side here. And we basically worked around the central part of Costa Rica, starting with the central valley here where San Jose uh, is located in Alajuela, the tiny city next to San Jose where the airport is. And you can see on the different uh, colors, the different tracks that we did through the trip. This is an eight day trip through this very mountainous country of Costa Rica. Let me show you around how we worked in terms of the altitude, moving from lowlands of the Caribbean here to the slopes of the Pacific in here in the Talamanca Mountains. And in between, we visited some areas in these valleys, okay? So let's start with showing you the first day that started in San Jose here in the airport and finished up in Villas Vista de Renal or hotel for a couple of nights in La Fortuna. All right. So we started off with a bang. We were trying for this particular bird. It's a white eared ground sparrow, a beautiful bird that um, is difficult to see normally. But in this area, just the north of San Ramon, it comes to feeders and we have really good chances of photographing it. And as you can see, why we targeted specifically this bird, um, well, it's, it's a beautiful bird. A couple other common things that show up in here are like brown jays and yellow faced grass quids and a few warblers and like the slate throated red start. But we got a couple of uh, migratory warblers in that area too, not coming to the feeder, but um, just showing up around like morning. Uh, we got black burning and we got um, uh, black and white um, chestnut sided a few of those and even um, a ruby throated hummingbird for instance uh, out of the migratory birds so this all happened on the very first stop right in here in these areas just north of um, San Ramon and immediately after we climbed up a little bit into these mountains here, some um, some farms that at this time of the year have a very special bird that I wanted to show you. Yes, this guy, the three wattle bellbird. This is obviously one of the big, big, big targets of the area and we got several individuals doing their bong display uh, early in the morning. Well, actually it was getting close to, to mid morning, but it was uh, super light and uh, super light for photography and, and super views of this uh, beautiful bird. Here is um, another photo of it, like through a window in the canopy of, uh, of some trees. We had uh, a great time there and you, this was actually chosen as the bird of the trip that was seen in the first hour and a half or two hours of the tour. This is just a bit farther north Somewhere around here, there is this canopy San Luis, it's called, and uh, this area holds a bunch of really cool birds, including the salt or Nicap euphonia, that it is uh, quite common in the area coming to, to the feeders. And sometimes, very, very close to the feeders, we have this black headed nightingale thrush, and for sure, one of the most common birds in Costa Rica, the Carla Brum manager together with the silver throat manager These are all in the same feeders and one of the stars of this area is this emerald tanager which is fairly difficult in most places but in here it comes very nicely to feeders we left towards la fortuna and on the way our great driver spotted this white hawk that uh, was perched fairly close to the road and we had an awesome time watching it until it flew off. Once we finished with our time in Canopy San Luis, we had lunch and continued our journey 
down to La Fortuna, which as you can see in here, it is just next to uh, the Arenal volcano. This is the little town of La Fortuna. We finished up the day with uh, uh, this white-throated magpie J that uh, it showed up very nicely just before it started to rain and therefore we cut it short sadly and we finished up the day that was a very very nice day zooming out a bit just to get you in, in the map we finished up the day in uh, la fortuna and the next day we started off just next to our hotel this is our hotel right here and this patch of forest is a beautiful area called sendero bogarin which holds a bunch of really really cool birds we're about to see right now who does not enjoy mannequins? This uh, white colored mannequin was one of the first birds that we saw in a visit to Sendero Bogarin. Uh, it was also selected one of the top five birds of the trip. And so we had awesome views watching it jump and doing all kinds of stuff. It was very, very nice. Another of the big target of uh, Sendero Bogarin here in uh, La Fortuna is this keel build mud mud which happily we managed to enjoy together with other two species of monmouth that show up in that uh, area, the broad build and lessons monmouth. We got a nice uh, row of the yellow-throated toucan eating some uh, palm nuts. A rocket nape wood rail is quite common in the area. We also got a very nice use of white-throated crake in that same family. We missed on the uh, uniform creek that was also around there but uh, we heard it didn't manage to see it then just outside the park there is a roost for boat build heron which is a specialty of the area together with other couple roosting night herons and some waterfowl in a pond that it is uh, close by when we moved back to the hotel to um, drop our stuff for lunch we spotted a sloth right right up in these trees over here and uh, some people that were just seeing what we were doing came out in a rush to see the slow uh, this loft that we put in the scope in here it was just a funny shot that i managed to take in the afternoon we also had one target to go for this black crested coquette we tried and tried until the rain again um, stopped us but we managed to get good photos of the female of this black crested coquette but sadly no males we got a couple other hummingbirds and a couple other new birds for the trip because we visited this very nice place called the um, arenal observatory lodge and so we were burning the gardens of the area and so a few other things um, but we were targeting this coquette we finished up like that day two we started day three here in La Fortuna, but as you can see in the blue path here, we need to drive quite a bit on day three, all the way to here and spend the night in Hacienda La Isla. Here in La Fortuna, however, there was a small patch that uh, got us a couple nice, nice birds. This Rufus winged woodpecker was the specialty that I was looking for particularly there and we managed to get it very nicely. He posed for pictures very, very well, and so we were all really happy with the photo that we got of this special bird. Beautiful, beautiful woodpecker. But apart from this bird, we also got uh, some good time with the euphonia, the uh, nice uh, yellow crown euphonia. And we got nice, nice views and photos of colored study that just landed on a post this stump just next to the next to the road it was quite a nice surprise of that particular place and we moved from this area and this, this uh, ride we did a short stop obviously logistic stop in a, in a location that had some feeders and we got a couple birds there namely this um, Golden Hooded Tanager was very, very beautiful at feeders. It uh, allowed us to take very nice photos in an area very close to Sarapiki. And then we moved from uh, this location to an area called Frog's Heaven, where you can really get to see very, very cool uh, herbs in that area. This is one of them, and probably the most photographed frog in the world called the Red-Eyed Tree Frog that um, the people there have it available for us to photograph very nicely together with a couple other things like uh, these 
a lash pit viper that came in a yellow morph in there and this blue jeans poison frog that it is uh, quite a special frog it's very very beautiful and this side striped palm pit viper was another of the things that we managed to photograph in there that uh, is quite quite beautiful together with uh, blue and black or green and black I cannot remember now a poison frog too we had lunch in the area because they have a restaurant there and we continued in the afternoon to another location so this is the side of frogs heaven here and we moved towards and a spot right in here called Centro Manu in the afternoon in which we sadly did not get to photograph much and to, but we did see a very nice male snow cap which was one of the targets there and we finished the day back in our hotel here Hacienda La Isla and that's it on day three day four we started off off in our hotel that has a nice patch of forest right there and has a very nice stream that uh, gave us this beautiful bird it's shiated tiger heron. It is not easy to see anywhere, but then we managed to see it and photograph it really nicely. We then moved from our hotel to this area here that it is a famous birding spot, well, a series of spots really, that is called Donde Cope. It's this guy that uh, takes us around uh, several different farms where he has a few stakeouts, and we basically go for stakeout birds. Namely, these uh, few owls that he has roosting spots. He showed us first this uh, spectacle owl, that it is a sub-adult. Really, you can see a little bit of this white around the head here. Yeah. And then we move to another spot where he has a crest owl. But, um, it's one of the nicest owls in the new world, I would say, for me. And uh, this guy here is a Central American Meow, which was a very cool thing. He had found a nest a few days back and when we arrived he said that the nest is gone and we managed to track down this bird just by hearing his call and when we found it it was another nest so he was happy to find another nest that day with us. We moved out and got to photograph a couple other things like a cat flycatcher eating a grasshopper and uh, the cool uh, black striped sparrow, for instance, out of many, many birds that we saw that, uh, that uh, morning. So this is Cope, who is uh, showing one of our clients one of the most beautiful animals that we saw on the trip. These are these white birds. They uh, create these tents out of um, these um, leaves you see here. And they bend them a little bit so that afterwards they come down and roost during the day. We saw a few of those. It was a very, very cool experience. So back to the map. We're here in Donde Cope where we saw all those cool things during the morning. We had lunch somewhere around here in a local restaurant. But that day, let me show you, zooming out, that we needed to do another quite extensive drive because we moved from the lowland and um, Atlantic slope here through these mountains here across the central valley past Cartago and this area here had a lot of uh, construction done on the road and therefore it delayed us quite a lot and so normally it is about three hours of a drive and we took a little bit longer than that but we went down to the Talamanca mountains and finished up the day in or Savegre hotel it's a very very beautiful place located in a very very nice valley as you can see here a little bit exaggerated i think through google earth but this is basically where we started where we ended that particular day so on day five we started here in the valley and we basically birded around the hotel for the morning and we visited just shortly late in the morning this spot right here cerro de la muerte these antennas where we got a couple of interesting birds there at the hotel we started off with one of the coolest birds of these Talamanca Mountains, which is the long-tailed silky fly catcher, a member of a very small family in which you can have also the Phainopepola, if you know it from North America, 
but we were very happy to find this particular bird. This is a super, super cool bird. It is all just around the gardens of the Hotel Alegre that also got us acorn woodpeckers and been about to die choked. <laughs> Probably not, but anyways, this is a really picturesque bird that uh, gave us very nice views and, and chances for photography. Um, the little Shrinch is one of the cool birds that um, show up always around the gardens. Happily, it's quite common. And another of the very common birds that occur in the gardens because it has a ton of flowers in the gardens. They have a ton of gar uh, flowers in the gardens in Savegre is this slaty uh, flower piercer. And this is the particular bird that we were looking for when we climbed up the mountains where I told you in Cerro de la Muerte. This is the volcano junco. We, it took us a while to see it, but finally we managed to get it just before lunch and we returned to Savegre for lunch. And right after lunch, we visited a beautiful location called the Batu Gardens, in which we got Volcano Hummingbird and uh, maybe, what, 10 other species? No, probably six or seven other species of hummingbird. And um, we also got a couple of things like this Bigfoot, it's called a large footed um, finch. And we got uh, the nightingale thrush, the um, ruddy cap nightingale thrush. And then we finished the uh, day really because my clients wanted to have a spa treatment in um, back in Savegre, and so I visited these. Feathered Garden, which is a feeder station right next, right inside a Savegre Lodge. And this is exactly where we also started the next day as well, because it was so good for me that the next day, that's the first place that I took my clients to watch. And we got things like this white-throated mountain gem, which is a superb hummingbird. And um, we also got a cool uh, northern emerald toucanet which was coming to the feeders, um, not not the feeders really, but it was around because it was a, a nest hole right next to the feeding station. And also, um, we had this black grosbeak, which is quite difficult to photograph in Costa Rica in general, but happily it was coming to feeders uh, during those couple days that we, that we um, visited Savegre. This is um, already in the morning of the next day in which we needed to move out of Savegre to another location. So we took bags and climbed out of the Savegre Valley, but as we were going out, we found a nice flock of birds that uh, gave us um, some nice photo opportunities. This Tutti thrush was the one that started it all, that I spotted as we were driving out. But then we had one of the typical birds of this area, one of the iconic ones, the uh, colored uh, white start, and uh, to pick up chlorophyllus. All of them were very obliging and allow us to see them well and to photograph them as well. And uh, uh, the same with the flame footed warbler. Next up, we moved out of the valley, as I told you, and we went here. Paiso de Quetzal Lodge, that it is famous for the Quetzal Cies, and that was our main target. But we also got in his in their feeders a beautiful show with the hummingbirds. Here is a couple of uh, close-up views of uh, these hummingbirds, a fiery throated hummingbird and a talamanca hummingbird in the rain. It was sadly a little bit rainy when we visited the, the uh, Paris de Quetzal Lodge, but we managed to get a couple of targets, like this is a female 
black and yellow silky flycatcher and this is the male of the black and yellow silky flycatcher. We tried and tried and eventually sadly only one of the clients could see this guy this uh, yellow browed chlorophonia that was a bit of an interesting story I just went looking for a, a bathroom stop when I saw the bird and uh, when I spotted it I managed to uh, call in one of the clients and she was the only one that saw it anyways we got great views and I managed on myself some photos of this uh, of this little bird but then we had lunch in Paraiso de Quetzal and we moved up later in the afternoon for um, in order to look for the Quetzals so right in the afternoon after lunch in Paraiso de Quetzal we moved to these uh, local farms where they have staked out this pup here this is the resplendent Quetzal and so they have a nest hole that these birds are working on at the moment or they were back in the in, the, in those days working on this nest hole and we could just wait in a blind there in a, in a hide really and, and wait until these birds show up close to the uh, nest that they are building and so we managed to see them really well I like this photo because of the uh, I mean it gives an ambient shot of one of the most iconic birds of America look at this super long tail and that resplendent Quetzal so we finished up that afternoon quite late in here somewhere around here are the farms where the Quetzal was and then we just had to head back all the way and cross through a lot of traffic back to our hotel again next to the airport in Alajuela. Our last full day of the tour, we this here that you can see in green from our hotel, and we went in between two different uh, national parks, the Volcan Poas and the Baraulo Carrillo National Park, and we visited this restaurant called Sinchona, which also is famous for some feeders that they have um, that hold a bunch of different uh, birds. However, we did a quick stop somewhere just around here for this particular bird. This is the Magenta Throated Wood Star, which uh, allow us very, very nice views in a very, very beautiful day. Probably the very only day that we got a ton of sun. The rest of the day, they were all kind of rainy, was very unseasonal really. But that day allow us to get this beautiful bird at uh, this uh, verbena patch. This flower is called a verbena. Okay. Following down the path, we went down to the Cascada de la Paz, where we got a few raptors soaring around, and the best one was this ornate hawk eagle that uh, soared above our heads for quite some time. It was very, very nice. And we also got a pair of barred hawks in the same, same spot. In the very same spot, we got a short hawk, right? Next up, we moved to these feeders and I call the Sinchona restaurant where we had lunch also but then a bunch of birds show up at the uh, feeders there including this beast this is actually quite quite large the violet saber wing and Montezuma or Pindalas are there at the close to the feeder too and this is one of the special birds that you go here for it's called the um, prong build barbet you can just see a little bit of this bill there of the prong bill barbet and that gives the name to the prong bill barbet these prongs here these kind of hooks that it has in the bill um, this is one of the two members of the toucan barbet family also crimson colored managers are around and a few other things are in the feeders but then we move down the slope a little bit and we just happened to find in the side of the road a family of these white nose coatis and uh, we enjoyed them for quite a little bit together with uh, some burning with, with, that we did uh, lower down in elevation um, that was very nice to fill up the entire day and on the way back toward um, San Jose we stopped in uh, this garden 
that uh, is called the Fredo Fresas that gave us the very last lifer of the trip for the uh, clients called the Purple Throated Mountain Gem. And like that, we closed a very nice custom burning with a camera tour. I hope you enjoyed it.